In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to work with guidelines, column guides and the guides manager. The easiest to go into the preview mode would be up here. We have this toggle preview mode up here, select it, back and forth. Now the shortcut for this would be on my Macintosh, Control W. Now I go up here and I would like to show you how to select each one of them. Here I have to show bleed, show the margins, I take it off. You can see the margins are disappearing. Show guides, they disappear. Show baseline grid, disappears. Show column guides, disappears. And show text flow, it disappears. And I'm back to where I just was a minute ago. But now my preview toggle mode doesn't work. Because when I select this here and I say show margins, take it off, it will disappear. I have to turn it on manually again. The grid and the baseline grid I show you in another tutorial. So I take it off, but I show the column guides and the text flow. Here you have the shortcut for your preview mode, I just mentioned earlier. Now, in order to work with my guides manager, it would be necessary to show my rulers. If the rulers are not shown, please turn them on. And I would like to show you something else, the text ruler, which is not the same. Now, the text ruler only shows you the ruler inside the text box. I turn it off again in my case. Now, in the next part, I would like to show you how to work with the guides manager. I go under view. Guides Manager, and I can see already I have a guideline on 80 set and another one at 760 millimeters to the right. They're both vertical. I either have the choice, select a different number, 50 in my case, maybe 800 here, or I say remove all guides, or I set a new guide by clicking here. I also set the horizontal guide, and you can see what Affinity does is setting you a guideline right in the middle horizontally and a guideline vertically. That's very useful. To add on another guideline, simply click down here, add the number over here I say, add on a guideline. All you have to do is click on this little symbol down here and you can add on guidelines as you wish. You can also select the guideline and say remove the guideline or I say remove all guides. Select my number, remove. Now the column guides are very useful if you're layouting. I have two columns at the moment, but I can also add them on. I can change my style. If I don't like it field, I can work with outlines or choose a different color. Of course, I can also work with rows. I can set my gutter. I can change the margins. Right now I have 55, inner margin, outer margin, something else. I can also make alterations down here, top and bottom. And you can see whatever I do here, it gets applied right away. Now, if I don't like my color, I go in here and say, maybe use a different color. Now, the spread origin down here, that means that the X and the Y axis are set here right at zero. Now, let's say I would like to move that over to maybe 30. I can go in here and add on 30 and 30. And I go up here and I can see right away that the zero axis changed to 30 millimeters. Now, when I hit close, it gets applied. Now to go back to the position I was before would be either with command or control C. Now another faster option would be to go under view, studio, history. I can either go step by step back like this or I just simply move this ruler to the left and I can see when I go to the back. Now I'm at the beginning, now I'm at the end, back to where I was before. Now I would like to show you the master pages. This has been applied to my page layout number one. I go into my master pages, double click, and I can see I have a different layout over here. I have three columns. Double click on the master page A. I can go in here again on the view, guides manager. Maybe I add on a few more rows. Maybe I enhance the gutter. I say OK. Go over here and I can see this is still the same as before. Now, how do I apply the master page onto page one? There are two ways. One easy way would be to drag master page A over to my layouts page and let go. It gets applied right away. Another option would be right click, apply master, go in here and then I say apply master. I go back to maybe my non master, it's a neutral master page as I had before. When I click OK, I go back into my layout I had before. Now in my next tutorial, I would like to show you how to work with the grid and the baseline grid.